As you take a look at the standings, Arizona with a two-game lead. In the standings, as we head into the home stretch here, UCLA and Oregon tied for second, but the Ducks with the tiebreaker uh, as of right now, as we sit here today on February 12th, is it, I think? That's right, yeah. That's right. Um, all right, so there are, we've got five teams in the top 50 in the net, so we're going to take, I want you to take me through. It is, it mm -hmm. is never too early and too often to be talking about exactly where things are shaping up for the NCAA tournament. So if it started today, three teams safely in. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, Pac-12 has three teams in, and not only three teams, but two of them very high on the list. Number four, Arizona. Number 12, UCLA. Obviously, 21, SC. And like I said, right now, those teams are without a doubt, unless they had something crazy happen. But you look at the Arizona resume, net ranking is two. A ton of quad one uh, wins all of a sudden. Actually, from the last week or so, it really bumped up six and two. And then you look, they actually still have some pretty decent ones, the one at SC being the highest. But I think if you look at, at Arizona, there's, right now, they're on the one line. They're actually right behind Gonzaga. And Arizona fans, you're going to love to hear this because Joey Brackett has them number one in the South. Here That's where they were 25 years ago, 1997, mm. when they won the title. And that, and that was the year they beat three number one seeds, beat Kansas. Unbelievable run. So they're lining up for it. UCLA right now, net ranking 14. I like their Q1 record, the quad one record. And they have some good ones coming up, obviously, today at SC. And then they get SC at home and then a big one at Oregon. I think it's interesting right now when you think of this UCLA team, Joey Brackets has them on the three line, which I think is just about there for them with that 14 net ranking. And you think about them last year, heck, they made the big run from a play-in game. So the three line would be beautiful. They need to win today. They don't want to get on the four line. The four line, you play the number one seed potentially in the Sweet 16. They want to get away from that. SC right now, solidly in, having a really good year. Not a ton of quad one games, actually, which is interesting. Only two games, one and one in those. Net ranking 29. And right now, Joey Brackets has them at number seven in the tournament. Last year, they were number six, made an elite run. So they're right about where they were last year. Kind of interesting. I think they need to win today, Ash, because they don't want to drop to the dreaded 8-9, and then you play the number one seed in that second round. Now, bubble teams for the Pac-12. I think on the right side there, uh, Oregon, they are in. Net 46, but they've had some pretty good wins lately. Joey Brackets has them right now at number 10. I think they're solidly in. They just need to keep playing well. Though probably the strangest team in the Pac-12 in terms of net and tournament, net 42. Washington State, they're ahead of Oregon, but they're not really even being talked about as close to the bubble. So, reason being, the net really takes into consideration close losses and big wins. They've had eight losses. Seven of their losses have been by six points or less. The only one that was not, the other night against Arizona. So, I think they've got the record. Joey Brackett's, listen, look for Washington State. Have you been to Pullman? Have you been to Pullman, as Bill Walton would Beautiful say? There. Come on, oh. let's go. So, is there anyone else? Hey, three teams, in my opinion, have a chance, and I'm not saying right now they have a chance to make it at an at-large, but they could win the tournament. You think of last year, Oregon State 106 in the net heading into the Pac-12 tournament. Wow. These teams are right in that area. Stanford 90, Buff uh, Colorado Buffaloes 93, Washington, the team that's playing the best out of those top three or four teams that we just mentioned. I think Washington is the one sleeper team that could possibly win the Pac-12 tournament. Now, the other thing to point out, they have five quad one games left. Like, they're 120 now, they could end up 20 in about a month, or they could end up 220. <laughs> so be careful, Washington, what you ask for. It starts today at home, maybe a packed arena in Seattle.